Hey friends, today I want to do an unsponsored review on the Iron Neck. That's this thing. Now this is one of my favorite series to do because I basically get to buy cool stuff I see on ads and pretend it's part of my job. Now the Iron Neck has been around for a few years and is advertised to improve posture, increase neck strength, and reduce or prevent neck pain. Sounding good so far. So here's what it looks like. My wife laughs when I put it on, which I'm pretty sure means she finds it stylish. There's an included resistance band, which attaches like this. Then you can do this. I'll try to show a better setup later in the video. Anyway, as usual, there's no sponsorship or uh, affiliate link attached. <laughs> I'm not necessarily against those, but I just don't want people to think I'm financially biased when I really just want to talk about cool stuff I see on the internet. If this is your first time, my reviews are fairly casual. Hey, cat. Boop. So if you just want a quick summary, it's a relatively simple concept. It's essentially variable resistance training for your neck. You can also train isometrically and the device allows rotation, even resisted rotation for some models. And for those of you that may not know, it's called variable resistance because as the band stretches, the resistance varies. So out here, you feel more resistance and over here, you feel less. Of the many benefits, variable resistance allows you to train with more force in areas where you might be stronger. When you see people use change when they're bench pressing or squatting, that's also a form of variable resistance because you feel more resistance up top. And this is different from say a dumbbell where the weight up here should be the same as the weight down here. And some of you might say, well, gee Hampton, why don't I just use an actual resistance band like this? It's probably gonna be more affordable. Like if you just do this with any type of band you want, you're technically training your neck with variable resistance. And you look like you're in an 80s workout video. And yes, you could totally do that, but this will be more comfortable and probably more efficient, especially if you're planning on using the rotation. If you do try this, be careful and use a beanie. It's kind of tugging on my hair. So yes, comfort, convenience, efficiency, these are all clear upsides, but there may also be some downsides, which I'll discuss later in the video. It feels kind of weird to have it here. It's almost like it's a product placement, but I also feel unusual if it's just out of the screen like this. Like this could be any video. Hello, my friend. So in this video, we'll do some unboxing, information about neck training and more. The goal is to help you learn about this so you can A, make a more informed buying decision if that's what you want to do and B, just hang out with me, you know, maybe even both. But before we go on, if you're wondering why anybody would train their neck, you're probably not alone. And I can think of at least three reasons without even going into how it looks. And there are some people out there probably, definitely, who want a nice thick neck, either on themselves or on other people. And I'm kind of behind this stuff, but there's a chance that a thick muscular neck could be the new six pack. So if you want to invest in some neck stock before it rises, now might be the time. And there might be a time in the future where you can walk up to a gaggle of people and be like, yo, I got a big neck, skadoosh. And they're like, ah, swoon, right? I mean, I haven't tried that, but if you do, let me know how it goes. Number one, if you're not any type of athlete and you're not that serious about fitness, neck training can improve your posture. And by posture, I mean posture capability. By working essentially in reverse of how you sit and stand, you should have more ability to sit and stand in different ways and be comfortable. I won't say that neck training will necessarily reduce your pain, but training your neck mobility and strength should improve your pain-free ability. So you can do more things with more freedom. And second, if you are serious about fitness or some type of athlete, especially an athlete in some type of high contact sport or especially a combat athlete, then neck training will help reduce imbalance and protect a weak link. A very important one. And even if we never plan to use our neck directly in any type of sport or movement, our body kind of works together for multiple movements, of course. So if you start off being able to lift 45 pounds and now you can lift 405 pounds and your neck muscles are still in their baby stage and you've never directly trained them to move or resist movement, the idea is that it can cause issues. Some people would argue that deadlifts and many other movements, even calisthenics movements, will train you to stabilize your neck. And I can see that point, but in my opinion, even a small or mild amount of neck training is better than none. And as long as you're safe, there's really more benefits than downsides. And the third really isn't a separate functional point, but more of a mindset shift. Your neck is literally what connects your head to your body. Two things that are pretty important. Up here, how you think, how you feel, how you interpret the world, how you decide things, how you communicate to others, connected to your body, which is how you move around, how you interact, and more. This is the connection, the highway. So it might be worth giving it some extra love. I think if you're going to be concerned about your biceps, you should at least give some thought towards your neck. Your good neck. Good job. You could even say it's the connection. Sorry, but it will happen again. So, okay, let's do a brief unboxing. I know it's a little bit weird because we already had it out and then I put it back in and now I'm unboxing it. I'm not filming this in order anyway. But I just wanna talk about the contents, overall feel and build quality, and just what it's like when you open the box. I know that's important to some people, which I get. Okay, here's what you see when you're opening it. it looks pretty nice here. It's just some setup information on the back. Here's a nice cardboard piece about the history. 
and the information about the product. Here's the iron neck itself. We'll go into that in a bit. Feels very sturdy. This is the resistance band that you saw earlier. This is a beanie that you've seen me wear in the short version of this video. There's a couple of attachment options to help you anchor it. This one actually goes in the door, so you're gonna secure it to a door, which is very handy. Here are some extra parts, and this, I'm actually not sure what this is. I've used this for several months. I never used that. Looks like it is the door belt. Oh, okay, so it's just another way to attach it to your door. I guess I could try it for you, but I've never felt the need to do that. It might be more secure. Okay, time to put it back in. But yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna store it in the box because it's really just a nice box. Especially if you remember where everything's supposed to go, which I don't always. Okay, let's test it out. Full fairness to the company that made this, I don't know if they really plan to appeal their attached to a tree demographic <laughs> uh, for people who want to exercise only out in nature usually. But it does work pretty well. And by the way, it does seem like I was mistaken because this is the door mount and I used it last time when I made a short version of this review to tie it to a tree once again. So I don't use them to wrap around a door, but I do use them for everything else when I'm not wedging them within a door frame. Okay, now putting it on is nice and snug. You can actually adjust it, which I'll cover in a little bit and you clip it like so. Maybe this can be the thumbnail or something like it. So this does kind of pull on my hair. A beanie probably would help that, but I do have longer hair, so it may not affect you. And you do want it to be somewhat snug. So this thing that attaches to the resistance band has 360 degree rotation, but you can actually tighten it if you don't want it to move, which I'll show in a sec. Just kept the resistance band in my pocket for a pretty simple operation. Snap one side on here, snap it to the other side. You may not want to put it on when it's tight so it doesn't snap you in the face in case something comes loose. Hypothetically speaking, of course. Totally not from experience. Actually, thankfully, I haven't experienced that. Yeah. Okay, so the angle you attach it at is going to affect the muscles that are emphasized. Slightly up, it's gonna be different than slightly down. We're slightly up here. I don't think it needs to be parallel. You can try different heights as long as it's secure. There's two, maybe three main ways that I use this. The first takes advantage of the rotation, which in my opinion is probably the most special part of this product where you can go like this, take a step back to feel the tension like this, and Gently rotate. I hold my hands like this when I'm doing the iron neck training. I'm not sure why. We always do want to start gently before we increase the force. And in my opinion, with neck training, I never go anywhere near failure. This is not something I want to do with my neck. And you can get plenty of benefit without ever doing that. With the rotation method, I do keep this pretty loose. If you add on some resistance, a little bit jumpier, like this. I think it does mess with your hair. Try putting this on. Like that, maybe? My wife called me a dweeb when she saw me putting it on. I don't know if it makes it better. <laughs> there we go. I don't know if they were meant to be used together. It just seemed intuitive to me. Okay, before I get into the second way that I use this, by the way, we're also filming from a different angle because I thought that'd be handy for you to see. And we're filming on a different day. I feel like everybody knows it happens often. Just want to get it out there. <laughs> but I want to mention the perhaps important note that the Iron Neck company in some videos actually recommends starting in a slightly different way than what I show in the first variation in which my shoulders kind of move in that variation but they recommend starting keeping your shoulders square and turning your neck left and right like this. You can adjust the rotation friction this way or just leave it free. Try to do it a bit slower than what I'm showing for safety. And there's that combined with the 360 turn. It makes sense why they'd recommend those as a way to start. They're a good way to build stability, mobility, and strength gently because you can increase the pressure by stepping further away and reduce it by going close by. But I never really started that way myself, especially the 360 degree turn. I wanna keep the review based on my experience. I mostly use this to supplement my neck training routine, which I already had. So I used it to do very specific things. But I recognize that you might wanna follow their instructional videos if you get this. So I'll link them below in the description. Anyway, the second major way I used the iron neck was through variable resistance, like I mentioned before. I kind of have to focus while doing these. I usually try to do them in a mirror or in a camera, if possible, because I'm trying to keep my shoulders still. If I look weird, I'm just checking myself in the monitor. I think the iron neck actually stops my camera from recognizing my face as a face. Use that information how you will. And actually stepping back a little bit so there's more resistance, slightly more, helps me feel and control this movement. Now the Iron Neck Company does recommend doing it the other side, facing away and pushing forward. It is a good exercise, but I never personally did that. Now I did do the lateral motions off to the side, which not everyone would recommend, but I personally enjoyed. This felt like a nice stretch. The proper movement is pretty small, especially at first. Okay, the third way that I like to train with this, 
There might be other ways. These are just the main three I use. It's basically just as a resisted rotation. I usually have it locked like this and I do fairly small movements. If you try to move too much, it does that. Ow. And with this model, there's actually a button here that can compress your head more. I'll show you. Which is supposed to help make this more secure and there's a button to release it but it's not my favorite way to train rotation. Which is notable because resisted rotation is arguably one of the best benefits of this over bodyweight training and other training methods, for example. It's not bad, I just never end up using it that way. There are actually six different motions the Iron Neck Company recommends. I'll link them down below. They can be great when used properly, I just didn't personally use them in my training. Maybe I will in the future. Okie doke. So, oh, I, I don't want it to fall. But I also want you to see it. But I don't want it to fall. Anyway, before we get into the conclusion and the summary and the final verdict that might help you decide about this product, I want to talk briefly about the alternatives. I really like that the Iron Neck Company acknowledges the fact that neck training has existed before the Iron Neck. Of course, right? They're just offering another option, another tool for people who want to use it. If you never get the Iron Neck or any tool like it and you still want to train your neck, I'll talk about what I consider the foundation and then some accessories. The foundation, if you weight lift or use kettlebells or barbells, anything like that, would be things like your deadlift, farmer's walk, shrugs, all things that can help stabilize this area and just keep your neck extra safe and make it thick, of course. If your body weight calisthenics fan, I would say things like bridges, handstand push-ups, pike push-ups, handstand shrugs, things like that. That's your foundation. Somewhere above that, I would consider some backwards leaning movement or hold. It can be a bridge, upward facing dog, camel pose, whatever you like. We spend a lot of time leaning forward nowadays and I think we should spend some time leaning back as well. And slightly above that, I would consider just using your hands to resist yourself through a full range of motion. It's notable that some of the neck training methods in this video are somewhat controversial. Some would argue that the neck and really the cervical spine isn't built to withstand the forces and the angles with which we're training, or just high forces in general. But even just using your hand to resist yourself to build mobility through a full range of motion for back, front, side to side, even rotation like this, is largely considered beneficial, and I would agree. And lastly, I would consider things like neck planks and neck levers, if you want. You could argue most people won't need them, but they're basically the bodyweight equivalent of what we showed on the iron neck earlier in the video. Okay, some pros and cons, some things I change, and then my final thoughts, summary, and conclusion on the iron neck. Pros are pretty much everything that you saw in this video. It gives a more accessible approach to neck training for some people who want to avoid the neck harnesses and the body weight variations. It's more convenient. You could argue it's more efficient. And there are some people who will always want a dedicated tool to something rather than doing calisthenics, which I guess if that's you, different people watch this channel. <laughs> but some people want a dedicated machine for everything they want to train in the gym. This is what it's for. They don't want to use anything that's not dedicated for that. This is probably for you. Different types of neck training exist, but this is one that's dedicated to neck training, very specialized. And the cons, or really just the con for most people, would just be the higher price. There are some pros, but for some people, the $350 or the $600 for other models, this is the $600 one. It just isn't worth it, and there's really not anything they can add to this that would make it worth it for them. I'll talk about that later in a bit. Something I would like to see on the Iron Neck is I would like the rotation support to be a little bit more. It is very nice and secure when I'm doing the left and right and the front and the back, things like that. But when I'm turning, I kind of wish there was something on the side, at least an option, you can take it on and off, where it would kind of support my head as I'm turning. Everything else feels nice and solid to me. This is something I like to see as an option in future variations. So for the final summary, I have some good news because I can't always say this, but for something like this, you can probably go with your gut feeling. If you see this and you're just immediately turned off by the price and nothing you saw in this video really changed your mind or surprised you, then I don't think getting it would also surprise you. You could argue posture training and neck training can be transformative, yes, but those things, remember, exist outside of this product. And if you really want to try it, you can try those things first. However, if you are a fitness enthusiast, a professional athlete, or an aspiring professional athlete, and you're just used to spending a lot of time and money on your body, improving your physical performance, either because it's your passion or your livelihood, then this is something that you may want to explore. And if you look at that, you go, hmm, I might want to try that. Then in this case, what you see really is what you get. There's not a whole lot of hidden function. When you see it and you use it, there's a pretty direct connection there. That's the review. Thank you so much for watching. If you want, we have a free fitness routine on hybridcalisthenics.com slash routine. We have a physical book version and an ebook version if you want to get one, but we also have a free beta app version we just released called Hybrid Calisthenics on iOS and Android. Check it out if you want. Have a beautiful day.